to the establishment of the National Center for Remote Sensing uh, in Jos. And by 1999, uh, the space program for Nigeria was formalized. Uh, formalized for several reasons. One, to promote space science and technology in Nigeria as the quickest way to fast track development. Uh, issues of satellite, you know, space program is not only about designing and building satellite, it's about fast tracking development because space enables most nations to look at high tech in all its ramifications. Uh, it makes you go into areas of software development, and it gives you a various overview, you know, various areas of satellite, be it avionics, which if you can develop avionics for spacecraft, you can also do perfectly for aircrafts. All this made Nigeria to venture into it. And besides, space program remains a flagship project for most countries. And I'm not surprised why Nigeria went into it. Uh, the question whether it's successful, yes, to a large extent. Uh, so the issue is a lot of people have been confused, both at home and abroad. Uh, most countries always say a country where about 10 million people, 10 million of its children are out of school. Uh, you know, a country where a lot of people are not able to feed themselves. That is the more reason why we need to go to space. Space gives you opportunity today for tele-education. People in the rural areas, the nomadic people, and uh, people who, who deserve to be cared for through te tele-education tele and telehealth. Telehealth enables people ordinarily who should not have access to medical facilities be linked up to regional hospitals so that through video interactions, nurses in the rural area can make these possibilities available to them. That's number two. Number three, do know that most Nigerians are forgetting that GSM phones they carry on their phones are linked to communication satellite. And at the moment, over 110 million GSM lines are in Nigeria. And they have also forgotten the fact that they are helping to build somebody else's economy. And all these are part of why Nigeria must be in space. Now, let me just understand something, because uh, many wonder if this is another intelligent move by the government when we still have a lot on our plates to, to cater, uh, to, to uh, treat as the major issues in the country. Has this been extremely successful? Very. Let me give you one example. Uh, in every office, from time to time, they do a technical audit. It's the same thing for a nation. You do a technical audit for your resources. In 1995, the World Bank gave our people some grants of about $3 million to buy satellite images. And all these were bought from, from France, sports. Uh, uh, and then brought contractors and consultants from Canada to do the job for us. Uh, after several years, following the launch of Nigeria Sat 1, uh, we were able to, to start that project, which we completed about two years ago. From that, all the images used all came from Nigeria Sat 1 which means the $3 million uh, received from the World Bank no longer happened this time, which means we have saved all to that extent. All the consultants and the contractors used came from the space agency and other key agencies of government who are major stakeholders in this country. And in addition, the source persons in, in Nigeria universities. From this single project alone, we saved more than $2 billion. How do we interpret that in dollars? That is more than $13 million. This single project alone, paid for the cost of, 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 the, of, the, of the satellite. And very often, even at the international fora, uh, you know, people ask us, what are you guys doing there at the space agency? Why waste your time? Why not wait for bilateral um, or bilateral assistance so that they can give us images? Coincidentally, a few years, uh, the Katrina problem in the US, in New Orleans, opened the gate for Nigeria to prove its, its world. Uh, the satellite was within their corridor. It made images available to the U.S. government. And the argument of what I, you guys are doing, they melted immediately. Because it shows whether a big satellite or a small satellite is capable of solving problems. And it helped to restore hope in New Orleans in terms of uh, you know, uh, rehabilitation after that disaster. When you enumerated the gains this you know, poses for rural people, telehealth and the rest of it, do you have figures of how many people have really benefited from this? You see, uh, let me tell you, 
when we talk about space program, we're not just talking about telehealth alone. Telehealth, certain basic facilities must be put in place to enable people benefit. Exactly. We talk in other areas, such as communicating sa satellite. GSM lines, how many people in a village that does not have a GSM line? This is what we're talking about. Also remember, by this year, Nigeria has 170 million people. That is a large market. Also understand that people are talking in terms of number. In August this year, we are told that the population of West Africa is about 390 million people, more than the population of the United States of America. That is a large market. What are we waiting for? We believe the cycle of the development must be such that the private sector must properly commit themselves, be on the driving seat, to enable them to create wealth and drive away poverty from our land. Now, are there really plans to indigenize the whole satellite technology system, like satellite design, man in space, and etc.? You see, uh, some of these, uh, you know, there are new ways of getting things done. No nation can do it alone this mm. time. And that is why Nigerians are in the U.S. making waves, be it in computer, uh, be it in space. Nigeria, some of them are on the board of NASA. It shows the level of intelligence and capability that Nigerians uh, are worth. All we are saying, let's create an enabling environment in such a manner that our people can partake. Be, you know, there are several spin-offs from space technology, and that is exactly what we are talking about. Uh, you know, you can imagine the number of people being employed uh, by the telecom companies in this country. All those are part of the benefits. And we must also venture to also develop infrastructure that enable things to be done. For example, federal government at the end of every month share money to the federal, state, and the local government. We expect that achieving millennium development goals is not only the business of the federal government, but the state too. Establishing medical centers and rural health clinics so that even local government, through video interaction or visit, should be able to benefit from tele telehealth issues where in a, a, a midwife in the village can discuss with a, a doctor in the, in the regional hospital and be able to look at people with issues, line up one by one, they look at them. But that is not happening now, is it? Yeah, but it is possible. You know, it's been demonstrated. We launched communication satellite. Yes. We brought a bus all over this country, and we did that. See, when you talk about telehealth, yes. and, you, and you start rural areas, how really feasible do you think it will be at this point in time? We're not looking at the future right now. My sister, it is possible. All we are saying is more satellites. You see, we should not confuse ourselves. Well, we don't have power in place. Wait, we should not confuse ourselves. We believe when the private sector takes up with commitment, these things are possible. You don't wait until heaven opens its doors to enable us to do that. All we are saying is that the bank of credit and commerce or bank of industry is just there. Proposals going there must not be about developing cement alone. Communication satellite is one of them. And it is possible, Dan Gote has demonstrated that it is possible in Nigeria. In a number of the, those cement plants, he also is producing power, which is selling to federal government. If you do that for yourself, it is possible. Have your own ground receiving station, and then create markets for, for Nigerians. Well, very well, we're still with the Director General of the National Space Research Development Agency, Professor Saidu Mohammed. Join us after this for more. Fun, inspiration, and knowledge. That's what you get from readers, writers, publishers, and the entire book world. Get some interesting reviews, events, interviews, and latest updates from the book world. The Channel's Book Club, inspiring you one page at a time. Welcome back. We're still with the Director General of the National Space Research Development Agency, Professor Saidu Mohammed. You're welcome back. Thank you very much. Well, let's uh, begin with where we left from. You, you mentioned about uh, you mentioned a country having up to 50 satellites, and Nigeria has just one communication satellite. Now we're wondering where is that divide? Where is that disconnect? Why don't we know the importance of this, or, or, or are we just submerged into other major issues, which of course is very apparent in our faces? And what does this portend for the country? Uh, just like I said, <clears throat> uh, it's very common in Europe, you go to one single company who have up to 50 satellites in the orbit, and mostly communication, because it's been identified uh, the biggest business in, in space is mostly 
uh, in the area of communication. Uh, and for the fact that we uh, 